Hi, I'm Kelly Ritchie, and welcome to this series. This particular intro is for beginning guitar students. If you just got a guitar, just took it out of the box, and this is your first time attempting to play, or if you're very new to the instrument, okay? I want to teach you things like how to tune your guitar, how to change your strings, how to hold your pick, and how to approach this series, okay? So, let's get started. This is my old Strat. It's a 1965. Uh, it's slightly worn. I put every scratch on it. And uh, for an electric guitar, almost all Strats have three pickups. And you have a five-way switch. So when it's all the way up, this pickup is on. In the middle, this pickup. All the way down, this pickup. Um, in between are a combination of each of the two pickups. Now, you've got what they call a nut down here that the strings lay on top of the little slot as they begin to graduate down the neck. And this is called a bridge. Each of these little individual pieces are called saddles. Okay? Now, the distance from here to your 12th fret is the same as from your 12th fret to your bridge. And if you'll notice, sometimes on an acoustic guitar, the bridge isn't necessarily straight across. Some acoustics, they are. Some of the more expensive acoustics are a little bit more fine-tuned, and the bridge is cut just a little bit different. But on my strap, these individual saddles can be adjusted. They move forward and back. So the string is in tune with itself. That's referring to the intonation of a guitar. So it's in tune. So when I play a note open, and on the 12th fret, it should be the same note, an octave higher. And so forth. Also, when the strings are in tune with themselves mathematically, they produce a harmonic. natural harmonics on the guitar and you have false harmonics on the guitar. We won't really get into false harmonics. If I was playing uh, really loud with a lot of distortion, I could pull a false harmonic which is kind of a squeal out of the guitar. But for this example, we're going to look at natural harmonics. We've got them on our 5th, 7th, 12th, and then 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19th frets. Okay? Now, when you're tuning a guitar, there's a coarse and a fine tuning. Just like on a, on a microscope, you have a coarse adjustment and a fine adjustment. I would consider the coarse adjustment to be when we just tune pushing down the note, and I'll show you specifically what I mean in just a second. On the fifth fret of my sixth string, this note is an A note. This next string on my guitar is an A string, so they should match, okay? This note on my fifth string, fifth fret, is a D note and it should match my D string. Now, if this is your first time watching the video, just go all the way through. Don't try to follow or do anything just yet. Just watch, kind of gather this information, then you can go back over it once you've kind of gotten an overview, okay? So, the guitar is tuned off the fifth fret until we get to tuning our B string, or our second string. Then we drop down to our fourth fret on the third string and play that open with our B string, which is the second string. Then we come back up to the fifth fret to tune our high E string. Now, let me give you the names of your strings. And my teacher, a long time ago, 
uh, gave me a simple little saying to remember the names of the strings. You're welcome to make up your own, but eat a darn good breakfast each day makes it make sense. E A D G B E. And they're named from the top string, which is the lowest string in pitch, all the way down to the high E string, which is the bottom string. It's highest in pitch. Okay? So if I'm telling you to move up your neck, sometimes we sit with our guitar like this, and people think up would be that way. It's always up in pitch. That's lower. That's higher. Okay? Uh, so when you're tuning your guitar, you're going to get a rough or a coarse adjustment here. Again, off the fifth fret, dropping down to the fourth fret, back up to the fifth fret. Now let me tune a string so you hear what that sounds like. And notice that string's real tinny, and that string's a lot fatter sounding. Obviously, it's a fatter string, but it's a wound string. There's a thin string as the core with a wound string around it. So the timber of the strings is gonna sound slightly different. When I was first learning to tune a guitar, I would hit these two notes and I really couldn't tell if I was in tune. So I would hum that note and then I'd play the next note because the timbre is slightly different from each and it can trick your ears. So much of what it is that you're going to be learning isn't just how to play a guitar, but you're going to be learning to listen to what you're doing. When I teach you some of the first basic chords, I'll tell you now, be sure that you listen to their personality. People assume that they're listening, but a lot of times they don't. So over my years of teaching, some things that I've taken for granted, I've learned as a teacher not to take for granted. Because students try, they have a lot going on, you know, where do I put my fingers on my left hand? How do I hold my pick? How do I play the strings? You know, th there's, there's a lot of information that you're pulling in at first, okay? Most of these videos would serve you best if you just watch them once through, then pick up your guitar and try to follow along. Be patient with yourself throughout this entire process, okay? So let me get back to tuning. Uh, if you are on an electric guitar and if you're plugged in, I find that the pickup that has the most treble to it is the easiest to tune with. It cuts through just a little bit more. So, I'm going to knock that string out of tune. When you're tuning, you always want to come underneath the note and tune up to it. Because if you just tune down to it, the string tends to slip, just the physics of it. Tune down and it'll continue to stretch and slip and it'll go out of tune more. But if you tune below the note and come up to it, that keeps the string tight and it tends to stay in tune more. Also, you can stretch a string. Just by pulling on it slightly. Now don't yank on it too hard. You can actually break a string. Not so much the lower strings, but the higher strings you can. That's why I wanna show you how to change these strings as well. Okay, so now that's how we tune coarsely in our adjustment. We can also tune with harmonics. Now, I find that, like when I first started playing, to have a, a guitar tuner, they were called strobe tuners, and they were very expensive. The little electronic tuners that we have today that we can pick up for $10, $20, $30, $30, some of the nicer ones are a little more expensive. Um, those weren't available, so I had to tune by ear. Uh, if you have an electronic tuner, you're definitely want, going to want to use that. It's going to really be so much easier. But I want you to understand what it is that you're doing. Because if you can't find your tuner, if it's lost, if the battery dies, 
or even if you have a tuner in perfect working order, it's my job to help you understand what's going on with this, with this instrument, okay? So here's what it sounds like to tune with harmonics. Like I said, there's natural harmonics on your fifth, seventh, twelfth, and nineteenth fret. And the way you get a harmonic on the twelfth fret, that's the easiest place to try this out. You want to be a, absolutely directly above the fret, and you just put your finger on the string. You do not push the string down to the neck. And it's, it's really good to use your thumb to pick so it's, it really gets picked, not too hard, but kind of hard. The twelfth fret is the best place to try your harmonics for the first time because they ring out the easiest. There's an equal amount of distance on both sides of the string. Down here, they get just a little bit harder to make ring. But to tune these two strings together, I hit the harmonic at the fifth fret on my sixth string and the harmonic at the seventh fret of my fifth string. Here there's a little bit of a wave. You want that to be a straight line. So I'm going to come under it and back up. Okay, next string. Next strings. We'll just tune this open. harmonic the B string open with the harmonic on your sixth string seventh fret and then back to You can watch this as many times as you need. If you have an iPhone, there's a great phone app that you can get. And notice, I'm not sure if the camera will pick this up, but if I hit my A string, it'll register an A note. Now I'm tuning by ear, so I'm slightly flat. Let me bring that up. Put this on my lap and tune to my tuner. I've just adjusted so now this is perfectly in tune. Now I'll go back through this one time. Make a slight adjustment.